Manitou Springs is about to be the first certified pollinator district in the world. What on earth is a pollinator district? KRDO News Channel 13's Natasha Lynn explains what they do for the ecosystem and how they protect pollinators. We've seen about a 40% decline in pollinators globally, which is scary. In Manitou Springs, conservation groups are working to protect pollinators like honeybees, butterflies, beetles, and hummingbirds. They're doing this by planting pollinator-friendly habitats. To the extent we can put that habitat back is the extent we can change and reverse these trends and hopefully recover all these species. The Manitou Pollinators Partnership was established in 2019 through work with the Butterfly Pavilion, which is a wildlife conservation organization. And by producing a pollinator district, what we're doing is creating habitat throughout an area, in this case, a whole community which is incredibly impressive that Manitou Springs has taken this on. Manitou had to meet certain guidelines to achieve this exclusive certification. They worked to reverse damaging trends by replacing exotic plants with native ones. It has a lot to do with the planet heating up due to fossil fuels consumption, due to um, outdated farming practices, due to chemical and pesticide use. Uh, it is really in their loss of their native biodiverse habitat and that's why our certification is so important to us because we're actually rebuilding their environment that they need to, to live and to mate and to breed. Pollinator activists and environmentalists urge that pollinators impact our daily life and this initiative needs to be taken seriously. It's going to impact the amount of food that's available for cows you know, ranchers for pollinators, and that impacts how our food supply. Is it gonna be flush or is it gonna be dwindling as a result of pollinators, which is what we're seeing. For KRDO News Channel 13, I'm Natasha Lynn.